Greetings and welcome to Caribbean Vanguard. It is impressive, it is fascinating when I see people of different nations come together for major projects, to build lifelong relationships and strong bonds, businesses, and to build their military. I usually sit back and observe these type of interaction with people, right? And when I see these people who share similar roots, but may now have different cultures because they ventured off many years ago. Some to pursue the colonization business that happened back in the days. And once they get to these places and create a nation, end up adopting some of the cultures of the local people and the others who stayed in their homeland. And you see them interact. And when they come together, it's like a family who haven't seen each other for a long time. They get along pretty well. You don't see them arguing over frivolous ideology as much as many of us do. They don't bicker about who has the better culture, who is the supreme people of that particular race. Their bond just seem to come natural. Some things does not need to be said. They look happy together. Another thing I observe is that in their country, in their brother's country or sister's country, you see their businesses flourishing. They support their businesses and we support their businesses. So in their land, you see them running the major businesses, the hotels, all the major stores. They are running it. They see themselves. The youths see them. The youth see their parents. They don't see a bunch of Africans or black people running their community. But when it comes to our community, we also see them running our community. Our youth grow up seeing their parents, their brothers, their sisters seeking jobs and opportunity from those people of a different racial background. Not only that, but we support their businesses just as much as they support their own businesses. These group of people take risks. They take chances. They made it their business to be the vanguard of their future. The vanguard to shape the future of the next generation. To ensure that the next generation is set up for success and do not have to come and borrow from another race of people. On the flip side of that, many of them honestly do not want other groups of people to be vanguards of their own future. So what they come and do? They come and offer you nice things. They say, hey, you do not have to be the vanguard of your own future. That is a lot of work. We will do it for you. And many of us accept that. And even when we accept that they will be the vanguards, they will be the ones who makes the decision about our future, they still don't trust that. They set up embassies throughout your countries and send secret spies in the form of tourists into your country. In addition to that, they control your government, whether it's through loans and other influences. So when I hear people say, hey, this is my nation and I am representing this nation, what I hear someone saying is that they are representing that plantation because at some point, and we seem to have missed it, your nation has transitioned from being your nation to being a plantation. It's just a modern day plantation. You really have no real say so. These people that I'm talking about has international business. When you think of the top 10 most popular businesses in the world, you would never think of an African or a black person, a black person from the Caribbean or any other place owning that business. You would hear of us being employees or presidents of some of these businesses but not an owner. And I mean the type of ownership where it is simply us at the head. 
unlike many who require catastrophic events to motivate them or to inspire them, unlike many who requires fear and abuse to inspire them or motivate them to come together, these people do not require that. The thrill of just ruling the world and controlling everyone, having power over all things, is enough. The thrill of setting up a brighter future for the next generation is enough. Far too many times when we talk about situations like this, you hear the detractors and they would say things like, they don't all get along. Those people don't all get along. They war with each other too. Or stuff like, some of them are poor. Some are not doing well. And those are detractors. Because what does that have to do with anything? At least they are able to provide jobs and opportunity for their own. And I'm talking about the Mongolian people and the Caucasoid people, the Caucasian people. Those two groups are vanguards of the planet. Now, it's either one of two things. Why aren't we seeing the same thing from the people of the Negroid race? When they are so talented, so athletic, so intelligent. Now, we either need to accept the notion that we are subhuman and cannot perform at the level as these other two races, or there's something else going on. We still have sellouts within the race. We have people who have been bought out. They are doing well, and their job is to keep everyone in slumber asleep. But even then, why can't those who know better pull together and make things happen? 